Hello and welcome to Pitt Street Research. My name is Stuart Roberts and I'm one of the founders of our firm. And with me today is Andrew Spinks of Ecograph, ASX code EGR. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, battery minerals and in particular graphite. Um, and in that uh, revolution of the electric vehicle market that we're about to see, uh, I predict that Ecograph will be a major player. Um, Andrew, tell us about the technology you've got to give the world some of the cleanest graphite yet known to um, the industry. Oh, thanks, Stuart. Nice to be here. Uh, we've been focused on developing a new purification process for producing spherical battery graphite. Over the last four years, we've developed a purification process called Ecograph. Not many people are aware that all their graphite comes from China and it uses hydrofluoric acid. We've developed a, te a technique. Which is, which is toxic, right? Toxic. Right. Uh, hy hydrofluoric acid is one of the most uh, expensive acids, but it's uh, terribly toxic and also has environmental issues with its uh, uh, residues through the, the, the process. So our process is a chemical process. It's a multi-step process, but does not use HF. We've done an enormous amount of work uh, developing the, the process and commercializing it. Uh, we've completed engineering studies. Uh, we've optimized the process. We've done enormous amount of piloting uh, for product qualification and also I guess the most important aspect is uh, uh, in 2018 we spent a lot of time developing uh, or applying the Ecograph uh, purification to other producers outside of China and uh, we were very pleasantly surprised that uh, of the 11 samples we tested, nine successfully worked and that really gave us the standalone uh, uh, development away from our existing plans through our Tanzanian mine that has been stalled. So uh, we're very much focused on commercializing that process now. We've, we've got a, uh, we're working on a, 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 a process to build a, a plant in Quinana, West yes. Australia, yes. Uh, to produce 20,000 tonnes of uh, uh, battery spherical graphite. That represents about 20% of the market outside of China. And our aspiration is to secure secure a market share of that market outside of China. And I don't think it's unrealistic to try and achieve 20% based on all the product qualification we've, we've undertaken. And uh, protecting our process, we, we're, uh, we've lodged a, a global patent yes. protecting the purification. And uh, we're very close to being able to commercialize the, the facility in, in Quinana, well, Western. Let's Western. take a look at the video that uh, you've prepared, uh, the 3D flyover of what you're going to be putting up in, in, uh, in Quinana. So let's take a look at that now. Perfect. Based in Perth, Western Australia, Ecograph is proposing a unique manufacturing facility to produce high purity battery graphite suitable for use in lithium iron batteries. Ecograph's patent pending and proprietary graphite purification processing technology is green and sustainable, satisfying high environmental standards of European and US automobile and lithium iron battery manufacturers. The raw material, natural flake graphite, will be imported in sea containers to Fremantle Port and transported by road to the proposed site within the Quinana industrial area. Quinana is recognised as a reliable supplier of high-quality industrial products and as having ethical transparency in raw material production and protection of intellectual property rights. Significant battery mineral investment already exists at Quinana, including the world-class Tianxi Lithium and BHP Nickel West developments. Ecograph has the potential to be the integral part of the Western Australian future battery industry strategy and to provide high purity graphite to other advanced manufacturing industries. Ecograph has invested substantially over the past few years to establish a unique and environmentally superior graphite processing technology. The proposed Ecograph facility will initially commence with a production rate of 5,000 tonnes per annum, followed by an expansion to a capacity of 20,000 tonnes per annum. The state-of-the-art new process plant eliminates the use of hydrofluoric acid and instead the Ecograph processes produces graphite in two stages. Firstly, the mechanical shaping of the graphite and then multi-stage chemical purification. The purified graphite is then dried and bagged prior to transport. e 
PicoGraph High Purity Graphite will be globally exported to lithium iron battery markets. The facility is expected to employ more than 250 construction employees and 60 direct employees during ongoing production. It is expected to generate significant royalties and taxes over its first 20 years of operation. Demand for high purity battery graphite is forecast to increase 700% by 2025, with growth expected to shift into Europe and US markets. The EcoGraph Quinana Manufacturing Facility will be well positioned to meet this growing demand and be part of the massive global investment to transition to ethical renewable energy storage. EcoGraph, green and sustainable high purity graphite. A great part of this story is that with a lot of, of, shall we say, clean green technologies, the expectation is that it'll come at a higher price point. Now, what we're finding is that the market doesn't like to pay up for being clean and green, but you can deliver at a price point comparable to the graphite that's out there at the moment, right? Uh, absolutely. And, and I guess that's that's a consistent message we've received from the all the uh, battery manufacturers. Um, they want an alternate source. They want a... A, uh, a cleaner, greener source, but they don't want to pay any more than right. what's in the market. So right. the really, um, uh, I, I guess, the uh, attractive aspect of our purification is removing the HF is, is a major cost. So with, a Quina, with our Quinana facility, we expect to be 5 to 10% underneath the uh, existing market price. So our, our production in, in Quinana ticks all the boxes and we're very confident with the discussions we're having in, in place at the moment that will secure sales. And we're working on a, on a debt financing process for Konana. We've got three pillars of work programs that will be completed very shortly. One is offtake, finalising and engineering uh, our EPC arrangements with, with our uh, uh, engineering partners. And also we're finalising a leasing arrangement with the state government uh, uh, for a 6.7 hectare site in Quinana. Right. Now, you and I were previously talking about the uh, uh, the fact that the, the electric vehicle industry is going to be very cognizant about where its supply chain is. Uh, if there's too much cobalt coming from areas that tend to exploit child labour, they'll want to use less cobalt in their batteries. Um, and they tend to want to to, um, to have production as, as uh, close to the, the end user as possible. You fit a lot of those uh, criteria, do you not? I think we tick all, all the boxes, and, and I think what we're seeing in Europe is is incredible. It's unprecedented investment going into Europe at the moment. Uh, we're seeing news flow uh, directly uh, every fortnightly about a new development. There is from just about every car maker in the car company, right? manufacturer. Their strategic alliances have been developed. I think there is no doubt there's existing commentary now that Europe is beyond point of return. They're going EVs. We expect raw material, uh, a shift of raw materials, battery raw materials, going into Europe post 2023, and we're working towards securing that supply. We've got a very strong relationship with uh, the German government through their largest state-owned bank, KFW IPEX. We've got one of their largest partner uh, industrial groups, in uh, Thyssenkrupp, as a, as a strategic partner, and we're very well positioned to secure that supply. And, and that supply is really looking for ethical transparency, right. responsibly produced raw materials. And it was really exciting uh, late last year to see BMW come out um, and come out to Australia and put their finger on a lithium mine and say, we want the lithium from this mine because of the uh, transparency that they want to see for their customers that it's coming from responsibly produced uh, materials. So I think we're going to see more of that uh, for all battery minerals, but particularly for, for graphite, given the, 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 the supply is solely in China. And uh, I think that's really exciting given, you know, car manufacturers like Volkswagen, uh, Volvo have all come out with really strong uh, uh, environmental, social governance statements saying they are going to use um, uh, blockchain technology to ensure the raw materials coming from a, a, a responsible site. So right. that really fits both our developments uh, really well. And, and with the discussions we've had over the last uh, month, you know, we're very confident that uh, we're going to secure uh, offtake and sales for our Quinana production. Okay. Andrew Spinks, good luck with the next stage of the journey for EcoGraph. Yeah, and thanks, thanks for, for coming much. to visit us.